Meditation Prostrations as Meditation According to John Omniadio, the power in prostration is universal and rooted in the deep structure of human experience. Like meditation or prayer, it need not depend on any particular tradition. No matter what we think or believe, we are free to practice prostration, and it can help us become even freer. It is not for special holy people, but for everyone, saints and sinners, the wise and the foolish. The practice of prostration. With sincere altruistic motivation and coordination of body, speech, and mind, prostration can help anyone free energy locked in addictive patterns, transform false pride into basic dignity, transform paralyzing shame into humility, open narcissism to love and compassion, improve meditative stability, integrate body, mind, and breath, balance subtle energy currents, vitalize meditation and prayer, strengthen the body, strengthen mental focus. As stated by Lama Gendun Rinpoche, prostrations help us realize there is something more meaningful than ourselves. Mindful Prostration In this meditation tradition, the prostration is to some extent a means of paying respect to the meditation practice itself. So, besides serving as a preparatory exercise, it can also be thought of as a means of creating humble and sincere appreciation of the meditation we are about to practice, reminding us that meditation is not just a hobby or pastime, but rather an important training worthy of sincere appreciation. Since we intend to incorporate the practice into our lives and make it a part of who we are, it is helpful to remind ourselves of this fact by taking the meditation practice as an object of reverence. So when we prostrate, we are not worshiping a deity or bowing down to an individual entity of any sort. Prostration is simply a way of paying respect to the practice itself and developing humility and sincerity at the outset. Also, as mentioned, it is a useful preparatory exercise since it forces us to pay very close attention to the movements of the body as we perform the prostrations. Once we finish the prostrations, we continue on with the walking meditation and then finally the sitting meditation. Again, it is important that once you finish the prostrations, you maintain mindfulness into the walking meditation, not standing up hastily or unmindfully. How to Meditate The Meditation Session Advice to Beginners on How to Conduct a Meditation Session Traditionally, practitioners will prostrate three times before settling down to meditate. This counters pride. It's also expressing our dedication to the work to be done the problems to be resolved, and the long way to unfold in our own personal development. It's not an active submission to something that is necessarily external, but rather it is a recognition that the potential for perfection is within each of us. We are humbling ourselves to our own true nature, which we desire to awake through our meditation.
Prostration helps put the mind in the proper state of meditation when done with this understanding. Motivation. Why do you want to meditate? Check up on your thoughts. What do you hope to achieve? The more firmly we set our goal, the clearer and stronger our motivation is, the more likely we are able to succeed. To simply calm down and relax is a short-term goal of meditation. A longer-term goal is to eventually penetrate into a complete understanding of the nature of reality. This is an antidote to dissatisfaction, unhappiness, and suffering. The most altruistic and thus highest aim of meditation, however, is to gain enlightenment in order to help others achieve it too. This is the most far-reaching objective, the Mahayana motivation. All other goals will inevitably be reached along the way. After gaining comfort with this idea, begin your meditation. It is in order that I can help all beings to attain enlightenment that I am going to do this meditation. For many people, it can be difficult to think that the reason for meditation is to attain complete enlightenment. This is a goal which may seem too distant and vast for one to realistically consider. But you may still have altruistic wishes for other beings. In such cases, it is helpful to think something like this. I wish to practice meditation in order to reduce the negative energies within my mind, attachment, self-centeredness, greed, or anger, while increasing the positive qualities within me such as patience, love, compassion, and wisdom. In this fashion, I will have a positive, beneficial energy to give while interacting with others and to send out into the world around me. Whatever your motivation, ponder it clearly before you begin. Meditating. Begin by turning to the object of meditation and keep it firmly in mind throughout the session. If you are doing a stabilizing meditation, for example, focusing on the breath, your aim is to hold your mind constantly on the object of concentration. If you are performing an analytical meditation, offer your full attention to the investigation of the topic until an intuitive feeling of it arises. Then perform stabilizing meditation by placing your mind single-pointedly on that insight so that it literally becomes one with your ordinary experience. If the feeling wavers or concentration begins to fade, return to the analytical process. Dedicate. Each time that you perform meditation, even if it is only for a few minutes, you create positive energy and develop insights to some degree. The effects of this insight and energy are determined by your thoughts and attitudes as you move from the meditation back into ordinary activity. If you rush off too quickly or end the session with an unhappy frame of mind, much of these positive results are likely to be lost. Before leaving your meditation area, take a few minutes to recall your motivations and reasons for beginning this session and dedicate the insight and energy that you have created to the fulfillment of these objectives. 
In this way, clear dedication stabilizes the insight you have gained and ensures that results follow. Don't forget to bring the positive experiences of the meditation session with you into your daily activities. Rather than reacting or following thoughts and feelings here and there or wherever they take you, carefully watch your mind, be aware, and try to skillfully deal with problems as they arise. Your meditation has been successful if you can do this every day. Amitofu.